Hey Popcorn Kid Crew. Today is Taco Tuesday. And you guys, have you ever heard of Rapunzel? <gasps> Rapunzel is a really interesting story about a mean old lady taking a wonderful couple's little baby girl because they were hungry and one day well I'm not going to tell you the whole story are you going to join me and see what happens it's just incredible but you know what the ending is going to be good especially for you hey you guys did you tell yourself that you are the greatest today let Miss V tell you you are the greatest. Now you tell yourself, you say, I am the greatest. Yes, you are. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Rapunzel. Oh, you guys, I'm not going to start over. I'm going to start right now. Do you mind? Here we go. Rapunzel. Once upon a time, a young couple lived in a cottage besides a stone wall. They were very poor, but very happy because the woman was expecting a baby. On the other side of the wall lived an old witch and the witch grew many herbs and vegetables in her garden and she kept most of them for herself. One day the couple had only a few potatoes to eat for their supper. They thought of a wonderful vegetable patch on the other side of the wall. It was full of delicious looking carrots, cabbages, and tomatoes. Surely it, would mat it wouldn't matter if we took just a few vegetables, said the wife, gazing over the wall. We could make such good soup, agreed her husband. So the young man quickly climbed over the wall and started to fill his basket with the vegetables. Suddenly, he heard an angry voice. How dare you steal my vegetables? It was the witch. Please don't hurt me, begged the young man. My wife is going to have a baby soon. You may keep the vegetables and your life, she croaked. But you must give me the baby when it's born. Terrified, the man had to agree. Months later, the woman gave birth to a baby girl. Immediately, the witch arrived and grabbed the child. Though the parents begged and cried, the cruel witch took the baby and she named her Rapunzel. Years passed and Rapunzel grew up to be a kind and beautiful girl. The witch was so afraid of losing her that she built a tall tower that had no doors and only one window. She planted thorn bushes all around it and then she locked Rapunzel in the tower and never let her see anyone else. My oh my. Here we are now on this. Here we are. Each day, Rapunzel brushed and combed her long golden locks. And each day, the witch came to visit her standing at the foot of the tower and calling out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel hung her hair out the window and the witch would climb up to sit and talk with her. But Rapunzel was very lonely. She longed to leave the tower and make friends on her own. Each day she sat at the window and sang sadly. Oh 
hope I don't have to sing for you guys. I know you hope I don't have to sing either. One day, a young prince rode by and heard beautiful singing coming from the witch's garden. He hid behind a thorn bush, hoping to see the singer. But instead, he saw the witch. He watched as she stood below the tower and called, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The prince saw the cascade of golden hair fall from the window, and he watched the witch climb up. He waited until the witch climbed back down and the hare returned to her house. Rapunzel began to sing the song again. Enchanted by Rapunzel's lovely voice, the prince climbed over the wall and crept under the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, he called softly. Rapunzel let down her locks and the prince climbed up. Poor Rapunzel was terribly afraid. She had never seen anyone except the witch before. When the prince explained that he only wanted to be her friend, Rapunzel was delighted. From then on, the prince came to visit her every day. Each time he carefully waited until after the witch's visit before calling to Rapunzel to let down her hair. Months passed and Rapunzel and the prince fell in love. can we be together, Rapunzel cried. The witch will never let me go. The prince had an idea. He brought silk, which Rapunzel knotted together to make a ladder so that she could escape from the window. One day without thinking, Rapunzel remarked to the witch, it's much harder to pull you up than the prince. The witch was furious. Prince, she shouted. What prince? The witch grabbed Rapunzel's long hair and cut it off. Then she used her magic to send Rapunzel far into the forest. The girl had made her home among the animals and the birds and sang sadly as she collected fruit and berries to eat. Soon the prince came to the tower and called, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The witch held the golden hair out of the window and the prince climbed up and up and into the tower. What's gonna happen, you guys? Oh, have you read this story before? What's gonna happen? Let's read and find out, okay? But instead of Rapunzel, he came face to face with the ugly old witch. You, screamed the witch, you dare to visit Rapunzel? You will never see her again. And she pushed the prince back out of the window. He fell down and down and right into the thorn bushes below. The sharp spikes scratched the prince's eyes and blinded him. Weeping, he stumbled away. Oh my goodness gracious. After months of wandering blind and lost, the prince heard beautiful sad singing floating throughout the woods. He recognized Rapunzel's voice. Immediately, he called out to her. Rapunzel ran to the prince and held him in her arms. At last, I have found you, she said, 
and cried with happiness. As her tears fell onto his hurt eyes, the wounds healed and the prince could see again. My love, he said, and kissed Rapunzel. Rapunzel had never been so happy. She and the prince were soon married and Rapunzel's parents came to the wedding. Rapunzel and the prince lived happily ever after in a grand castle far away from the old witch and her empty tower. The end. Have you guys wondered why Miss V is always sharing stories with happy endings? I share stories with happy endings because that's what I'd like for us all. I want us all to have happy endings. And this story, just as the other stories, has a happy ending. I want each and everybody to share some of your experiences with love. I want the children to make sure that you're loving your parents. Give your parents a hug and a kiss. You know, the time of year that's coming right now, the holidays are coming up. Your parents need a hug and a kiss. Tell your mom, your dad, your grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, cousins, tell your family that you love them. Miss V loves you. And I wanna send you a hug, a kiss, peace, and love. See you soon, guys. And may all of you have happy endings, beginnings, and all of the good things. <laughs>